Next, we got an update courtesy of Neon. The live streamer Leon, who's on kick, has given us an update because last we heard, or I heard on social, he had been arrested in Dubai for filming where he shouldn't have been filming. Now he got on the internet and told people that he's fine. He got released. But he looks a bit worse for wear. Neon looks a bit worse for wear. He's got a bit of a beard. I don't know if he's always this skinny or maybe he is more skinny because he was in pen for a couple of days. But he looks a bit shaken, not stirred. But he does maybe look like he might have learned his lesson. So let's play the clip and see what Neon said about his experience in a Dubai jail. He spent, what, 56 nights in there. Now he's free, home free, right? This is his first day out freestyle. Let's hear what he has to say. The country, and they made sure once they found out what was happening, I was good. So uh, basically, chat, what happened was um, JCV, the sped, um, you know, you know him, fucking idiot. Uh, my cameraman, basically, um, I'm not going to put the blame on him, but... Um, you know, we did some some not good activities there, man. You know, uh, it was not it was not good what we did, and um, we, um, we we were filming in the um, in the areas where we're not supposed to film, and it was not a good situation. It was not a good scenario. Uh, it really wasn't. So um, basically, what happened is um, um, what happened, man? Spit out, nigga. What the fuck? Jesus. So basically, what happened Spit is out. um. We were recording in the areas that's not good. And um, mm -hmm. where is Sam? Shut up. It was all JCV. Nah, bro, because I put him in the situation. And then chat, the, the real situation was we, we accidentally filmed the cops, bro. We act, the, the sped, like his eyes were popping wide open filming the cops where he was like excited, bro. I don't know what the fuck he was doing, bro. The idiot filmed the cops. It wasn't his fault. Though. I don't blame him. I take full accountability. It was my fault. And honestly, things could have been a lot worse. But I, I, I really appreciate, um, I really appreciate all the people who try to, um, who try to make sure I was good, man. A lot of people reaching out. A lot of people. I'm not clone, shut up. But yeah, bro, like, a lot of people were, were there for me and shit. A lot of people reached out. And a lot of people actually went fake on me, bro. A lot of people didn't come out, look out for me, didn't try to help. None of that shit, bro. And, hey, trust me, I know who you are, you pieces of shit. I have very, very small friends, bro. I have a very, very small friend group. I have very small friends. Anyway, you know what's really funny about this situation? Is that, again, I've never been to Dubai. But I'd imagine, although Dubai is really strict, I'd imagine there's pretty a seedy, dark undercurrent to Dubai. It's probably what people would describe as an adult's playground. They have a lot of strict rules, but in most regard, I would imagine you could get up to any number of nonsense you want to get up to out in Dubai. If you've got the means, the resources, the connection, you could probably do whatever the fuck you want. You could probably wear, you could do exactly what you were doing in Vegas, exactly what you're doing in Miami, exactly what you're doing in Ibiza, exactly what you'd be doing in Bali, exactly what you'd be doing in fucking, I don't know, in Jamaica. You could probably do all those things in Dubai if you wanted to. You just have to do it on the low. You can't do it bait in public. So it's a pretty cool place to go to, I'd imagine. Apart from all the human rights, you know, violations and shit, and some slavery issues and whatnot, and other questionable things, right? I imagine it's a pretty decent place to go. But they're very strict. Hey, follow our rules. If you don't follow our rules, you're in big trouble. But if you want to get up to some, you know, some devil stuff, some dark shit, they could probably sort you out. So it really does beg a belief how these kids, how these guys, even though they get given, um, you know, some guardrails, they get given, you know, an idea on what they can and cannot do, they still push the line. And then they get surprised when they get, you know, some very severe consequences. It doesn't make any sense. The only thing that makes sense to me in this regard is that these kids are so warped, they're so smashed in the brain that they actually like the clout of it. This is all part of, part of the fun. The fact that everybody's been speculating about where's Neon, did he get arrested, he's been sentenced to a year in prison. They love all of it. For them, it's all a big game. It doesn't really matter, which is wild to think that they are, you know, for them, like, content and clout is everything. So even spending a year in prison is good for them, for their brand, because they think once they get out, it's going to be a whole movie. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be an event. People are going to want to sign them. They're going to get loads of viewers, loads of donations, loads of subs, loads of... It's like, bruh, are you really willing to play with your freedom for views? For virality? For engagement? Is that what you're really doing? Especially in a country like Dubai, where, like I said, if you want to get up to some messy stuff, I'm sure it exists these countries that's how they're built that's how they're made to like that's how they exist that's who they're fucking set up for people who want to be discreet but also don't want to do stuff like because there's people out there that want to party like i do in berlin 
but just not in Berlin because Berlin's a fucking hellhole. It look it looks very Soviet. It's very central, you know, European. The architecture is very dark and depressing. There's graffiti everywhere. Everybody's smoking everywhere. There's shit everywhere. So some people like to get up to what I would like to get up to in Berlin, but not just in Berlin setting. So Dubai exists. Those type of nice places where you know. There might be a bottle girl or two. There might be a, a really good and attentive waitress. There might be a real swanky restaurant with a very high regarded fucking chef there. But if you want to get up to some hanky panky, there's probably some doors you could go to that you could do it in. Just don't do X, Y, and Z. Don't be loud in public. Don't film police. Like it's just some basic rules. But these streamers just don't care. They don't seem to give a fuck. And it's all because of clout, which is a wild place to go to because there's a part of me that's like, I maybe respect that, that they're this hungry for clout, that they're willing to risk their freedom. That shows, like, it's like, you know, you're really in it. You're really got some skin in the game because you're willing to throw away your life, your freedom, just so you can be more popular on the internet for like 48 hours, if that. It's pretty wild. But, you know, he's home now, so maybe he learned his lesson. Maybe not. Who knows? I guess the story will continue. I guess the story will blood clot continue?